Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Etho. Welcome back to another episode of Planetary Confinement. That tree just grew, and now it's providing shade. And I will forever love this tree for that fact or something. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, how's it going, guys? Welcome back. You know, as I s sit and stand, sit and stand at the same time, can we start over? Please, let's just start over. This was a terrible intro. <laughs> As I stand on this uh, barren planet under the hot sun, that's why my brain no work so good. Uh, I've been contemplating what we should do. How should we escape this terrible place? And honestly, I'm at a loss, you know. Haven't been able to figure out. But then I had a revelation. What would my mother do in this situation? and Eureka it's perfect my mother the wisest woman in the world if she was in this situation she would bake bread so that's what we're gonna do <laughs> quest number 14 baking bread uh, I think that's uh, probably our best course here the sad thing is that it, that actually is our best way of getting off this planet <laughs> completing the quest book here so let's do it I think we have bone meal, yes. We had seeds. Are these them or is this no, these are our potatoes. What happened to the seeds? I I am sure we had seeds somewhere. Did I put them away? Oh I did. I see. Aha. Okay, so we're gonna grow up some wheat. No <laughs> our our soil. I, I forgot it's not watered. Can't just leave it plain like that. Alright. So, just need a couple wheat here, probably just three if I remember right. Although I never did check the book, so I don't know what I'm remembering. <laughs> might be different, might not be. Let's try it out. All right, is that the recipe? It is, yes. Quest complete. My mother would be proud. Baking bread. Okay, number 15, construct a deconstructor. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Maybe it does. Oh, and you get mycelium from it. That's kind of weird. It probably does something special. A deconstructor is a costly mechanism, but is necessary to craft certain items. It, oh, it's for crafting? It has the power to split certain blocks into their core components. Once you make it, try placing some mycelium or mossy cobblestone on top of it. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. I wonder how you get mossy cobblestone. Okay, well that's that's cool. I guess we got to figure out how to make that, right? <laughs> I'm having like so much brain lag today; it's terrible. Okay, here we go. We are looking for the deconstructor. We might finish this this uh, map pretty soon, actually, at the rate we've been going through the quest. But they're probably going to get really hard these last few. It would be under functional blocks. Yes, right there. Ender pearls. And five steel. Oh my goodness. And an iron block. That is going to take us a very long time. <laughs> we are not going to get that done for a long time. Okay, so let's not even think about that right now. What we got to do is make a steel pickaxe, okay? Because we found some ores in the ground. And that's probably our quickest way of actually getting stuff. Let's snipe this guy. Alright, so that means it is sand collection time. Oops, I wasted one. I keep doing that. I look at the book, but it doesn't actually stop the shot. Alright, so let's chop down these trees. I'm probably going to collect sand throughout the night if I can. These guys might give us trouble, though. Nope. And down. Very good. Is there another one? No. We're good. Alright, so as we go here, I gotta keep collecting saplings though, because that's what gets us our water. Oh, and I'm actually getting very thirsty. Why is my temperature going up so quickly now? Huh. It's almost like it goes up faster at night or something crazy. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. It's probably because I'm thirsty. Alright, let me grab these. 
and I'm going to try collect sand throughout the night here. Let me grab my sand collecting torch. And hopefully I don't have too much trouble. I'm going to start on this side since it's clear here. I think we've been spotted. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Got two stacks of sand. That's that's good for now. Ah! No, Mr. Zombie. It's weird when you shoot them, they just stop. Uh oh. Stormtrooper found me. Alright, let's grab our saplings. We gotta get some water in us because look at my temperature. It's at 70. It's going up so fast. Something is terribly wrong right now. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get inside and deal with that. So it's it's actually pretty dangerous, it turns out, when we run low on, on water here. Alright, so what we gotta do is throw this in here, get our bucket, and then throw it in here. Right, and then we can drink it. Oh, I had one on me, and I wasn't. Man, <laughs> I didn't drink it when I had one on me. Let's drink this one then. We get three uses per barrel. Yeah. Oops. Oops. <laughs> and that gets us up to 77. Temperatures at 54. I don't know. If I take my pants off, does that help? flashing. Oh. Huh. I don't know. The cool breeze was nice. <laughs> Alright. Tell you what. I'm going to sift sand and we will probably have to chop down trees to stay alive here because it's getting pretty bad. Did I get enough? I got eight string. We got to make another sifter too. Let's go ahead and do that. So it was three by three. And then it is this, right? Yes. Good. So we got another sifter. Now I looked at the comments, guys. I know a lot of you are telling me to put it outside and then I can stack the sand up as high as I want. The only problem with that, and the reason I'm not doing it, <laughs> I'm going to put it right next to this one, is because I would have to jump a lot to stack the sand and if I do that I'm going to die from starvation very quickly so this is the way to do it I think not automatic but it's very fast because we got two right next to each other alright guys so I sifted up those two stacks of sand and we got all kinds of goodies now I noticed while I'm in the spaceship here my hydration and temperature hasn't changed at all so I think that's a trick it's when we're outside that it goes up like crazy, which makes sense. Oh, I have an extra water here. <laughs> Why am I throwing this stuff all over the place? It's vital. We need it. Don't stash it away for a rainy day. I need it today. All right, so I'm going to make up our ores. I don't know if that's enough to make a pick currently, but we'll see. No, not quite. We were a little bit short there. We need five more zinc dust to make a pick. So I'm going to collect a little bit more sand and I should probably grow some trees and chop these down and maybe even get a couple more leaves here so we can get more dirt. Was that a tall one? Oh, it's a tall one. <laughs> oh man, it's going to take me a while. But yeah, let's, let's shear these leaves because if we get more dirt going here, then we can grow more trees and we'll have like a nice garden going on in no time. Seven, eight, we did it. <laughs> All right, we can make a pick now. Let's do this and this, get this smelting. And, oh, we gotta take that out. Okay, now, got all these leaves, we gotta make the mesh, or mash, or whatever it is. And then cook that up, and then we can make these dried leaves and then dirt from that. Oh, wow. Look at this. I figured out how to make torches, guys. We are saved. You got to do it in your 2x2 two two window. Unbelievable. Let me try with charcoal just to make sure. Oh, I hope we can make torches. Oops. Yes. Torches. Light. Oh, let's light it up. 
Oh, this is amazing. Whoa. <laughs> I thought that was a leaf. A leaf block or something. Uh, I'm going to shoot this guy. Get out of here, fool. All right, did we drop any more saplings since I went inside? No. Unbelievable. All right, let's go make our steel and our pick. Aw. Yes, more dirt. You know what we're going to do? Stones are actually very easy to collect, so I'm going to make a second furnace here. Because uh, this one, we are waiting on a lot. <laughs> so I want two. Uh, we're getting very sophisticated here. All right, this should be good. So what we got to do is iron, zinc, and charcoal. Make steel, very good. And we need three of these. And then we're going to go on a little uh, mining expedition here at night. All right, good. Now we do this. I'm doing the pick first before the axe just because... We know where there's some ores. I think it's worth it. Because otherwise it's very slow going to collect stuff. Alright. Why did I unequip my gun? <laughs> that was probably the worst thing. Is there any endermen outside as well? If we need ender pearls, I don't know if we are expected to hunt endermen. Or maybe we get them from... Oh, that is an enderman, isn't it? How am I going to kill... That's an Enderman, right? Yeah. How am I going to kill an Enderman, though? If I don't really have a sword. I guess I got the Crook. But if I shoot him with a rifle, he's not going to... He's not going to stick around, you know? Is that him back there? No, it's a Cactus. I think we lost him. Okay, but this is what we want here. This is what we came for. So, I believe we can just mine these ores up with the pick now. Oh, it drops full blocks. Yes, or full ingots. Please be a lot here. <laughs> does it go down deeper or is it just one thick? I think it's only one thick, guys. No, I want more. Zinc is very difficult to get. Um... No! <laughs> I think that's it. I'm going to look a little bit deeper down here, but I think that's it. We'll have to try find more of these. I hope there are more. It's so much faster than sifting sand. So we got we got four from that. Uh, this looks suspicious. I'm wandering the desert now. I'm looking for ore deposits. Uh-huh. Oh, did you see that? There's particles under the sand there. For sure. Yes, right there. Oh, it's a spawner. That's dirty. It'll only go at nighttime, probably. Okay, there is a chest here, too. This could be something good. Ah, some raw beef. I guess that's kind of good. I want ores, though. Where are the ores? I... Might want to check this one out. I'm looking for any pit in the ground. I see something green up there. Looks like sugar cane. Oh yeah, we got a little bit here. Just a little bit. What is it? I can't even tell. Not, that's a custom block model for sure. This is quicksand though. <laughs> I don't think we should just walk on this. This seems like a trap. Is it sugarcane? Lemongrass. Okay, this is one of the foods. Can be planted on quicksand. I guess we gotta collect some quicksand then. And bring it back home. I thought maybe he would have like a deep pit of it in the middle here, but it looks like it's only one thick throughout. So he wasn't that evil. Although I don't think you can actually sink through this. It's it's just like a trick. It plays with your mind. It's like uh, the slowness four makes it zoom in but you're not actually sinking into the block I don't think so I think we're safe to walk on it all right I saw a pit up over here I think let's go try find that oh my goodness <laughs> let me let me out of here 
I regret this so much. Temperature is climbing quickly. Okay, I might want to just head back. We're at 75. I think we should head back. I'm a little bit lost. <laughs> I think it was this way, though. Um... I did see a pit. I thought we would cross it on the way back here. 81. Oh, we got some bad particles. Okay. I think the pants are coming off. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to help. Uh... Like, I, my base is just gone. I can't believe it. Can't believe it. Can I sprint? I can sprint. I think we should sprint here. Ah. Oh. My base should be right here. But somehow I must have got turned around and I am just totally lost now. The grass was back up this way. 98. <laughs> Keep an eye on it. Oh, that's it. We're done. No. <laughs> Why? Oh. Oh, it didn't kill us. Hydration's at 20. I thought it would have killed us, but if we are stuck here at night. Oh, I just lost my bearing again. When I looked at the sun, I think we were heading this way. Guys, I have no idea where the base is. And now I can't even find the lemongrass. I feel like stuff is moving when I walk away from it. Like, it's not... He's doing something with command blocks. There's no way I got lost. No way. He moved it. He must have. Because the lemongrass was right here. I know it. Oh, man. <laughs> Where's the stinking lemongrass? Okay, this is it. 13, negative 12. Unbelievable. Yep, we died. <laughs> I couldn't find the lemongrass again. Couldn't find the base. I don't know what happened there. Oh. And, uh... Yeah. I don't know what to do now, guys. So, I know what you guys are thinking. Etho, how is it you are so good with directions? And I don't know what to tell you guys. I think it's just a gift. I can't really pass it on. I wish I could tell you. I wish I knew, but it's just, it's in me, you know? It's just the way I am. Can't find my stuff. <laughs> oh no. Oh yes, we got it. Just in time, I think. Now, here's the thing, guys. I don't think I could have made a better facepalm moment if I tried. Like, I couldn't script anything better, honestly. <laughs> when I died, I saw it. But it was too late. I didn't know I had it. There was a compass on me the whole time. <laughs> I got lost with a compass on me. Oh, man. Yep. Little bit embarrassed. Just a little bit. Just a little wee bit. But, uh... Yeah. <laughs> we got a long walk. I had to use F3 to find the spot, too, by the way. There was no way I was going to get my stuff back if I didn't use it. Um... Because this is really far out. I, I totally walked the wrong direction. Lost about 30 hydration going one way, so I'm going to be about 40 to 50 when I get back and we have no water at the base so we're struggling quite a bit here all right guys well I made it back home here we got 50 hydration 42 temperature I'm just gonna spend a bit of time chopping down trees 
trying to get some saplings so that we can get our water taken care of. And once we do, then we will go explore. We need a little bit extra before we do that. Um, so, I will see you in a little bit once I do that. Yes, saplings. Give me more saplings. Let's get this dirt down, too. Oh, actually, one second here. We got Endermen. We should try to kill these guys, because you know how tr how tough it can be to get Endermen to spawn. I'm just going to do one at a time. Oh, whoa! <laughs> I'm very good at this game, guys. I wish I could teach you how I do it, but I, I just, I can't. It's, I was born this way. You know what it is? I got my stupid helmet on, and I think it's actually a pumpkin. So I can't look at Endermen. I just realized what's going on here. So maybe I gotta go tap them. If I take it off, I take damage, so I don't want to do that. Hey, you! Trick face! Get over here. He ran away. Um. This doesn't seem safe, does it? <laughs> I am actually going to sprint here. I'm running for my life now. Should be good. Yeah, they don't move that fast. Okay. Perfect spot to hunt them. It's going to take a lot of hits. Let's check around us. We're good. Oh, he hit me. No pearl. Darn it. Okay, let's try with this other guy. Yeah, I see my temperature and hydration. We're at double red. But we do have enough saplings to make water now. Hey, you. Oh, come on, creeper, get him. Yes, the creeper hit him. Bonus points. <laughs> All right. Uh, 76 temperature, 34 hydration. There were, was three endermen. One of them disappeared, though. No. No more things. Not right now. Okay. You know what? We're going inside right now. Yeah, I'm <laughs> not doing so great right now. Please make this stop. Could not have picked a worse time for it, you know. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's do it. Let's get let's get our water going. This is what we worked for. So we got to do the mash. Like this. Yes, good. Get this in here. Get our bucket. We did pick it up. Alright. Oh, sandstorm has passed. Do 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 do. <laughs> and relief. Oh man. Survive a little bit longer. It feels kind of bad now that I died once, so it feels like I failed already, unfortunately. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I continue with the map, or was that like a deal breaker there? Let me know. Okay, I'm ready for more here. There's another Enderman over here. This might have been the, the third guy that we never got. Let's take these guys out. Oh, he caught up to me. Oh, wow. Wow, and he still exploded. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm so far away from him. Alright, so we're going through the ammo quite quickly here, but it's fine. Let's get this guy before daytime. Come on, where is he going? I gotta kill you before daytime. Okay. <laughs> Not the ideal way to hunt him. Oh. Oh, I'm trapped on something. Okay. Yes, we got it, and an ender pearl as well. That's great. So we just need one more for that deconstructor thing. Dude, I didn't even realize my temperature is going up like crazy right now. <laughs> Man, I did see something in the comments. I gotta try it, because I don't think we're going to get saplings in time here. Unless I break these ones on the ground, which I might have to do. But one of you guys said if I cook these here let's just do this real quick if I cook the leaf mash thing and put a bucket in here you said that I actually will get water from it 
Which I gotta try out because we need it desperately. Be very powerful if, if this works. Water, 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 water. Oh my goodness, it actually works. <laughs> Holy smokes, that's such an easy way to get water then. That's probably what I should have been doing all along then. But I didn't know. Alright. Yes, yeah, so let's do that a few more times. My temperature is still very high though, even though our hydration's good. Uh, I'm going to make a few more of those. Okay, I think we're good now. 95 hydration. It seems when my hydration is high, the temperature drops. I think that's the way it works. So we should get down to zero now. We got lots of water. There's a bucket there. We still got some in the barrel. We got food. Got water. Um, got quite a bit of metal fragments, but we, we could use some more. So I'm going to sift some sand. Oh, let's go get the whatever dropped here too. Now our shears are about to break, unfortunately. Now that I know the trick. <laughs> did I miss that or did it, does it not say it? I might have missed it when we went through the quests. I'm not sure. Oh. Did I drink that water? Why is the hydration up to 99 now? I might have just wasted some water. I'm not sure. Anyway, guys, we've stabilized here. I think I'm going to call the episode here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It was a little bit hectic. Made quite a few mistakes. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it happens, I guess. See, the thing is, there's no landmarks. Even though I'm so good with directions, when there's no landmarks, it can be kind of tricky. Unless you use F3, which I wasn't doing at first. But anyways, guys, yeah, let's let's wrap it up here. So thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.